What's up everyone? It's gonna be a little different vlogging styles. <laughs> not 100% because you got Sarah. But she's not here today. And actually yesterday was the first day where I could actually start walking around. They said that it was fine for me to walk because I had to wait 48 hours. So yesterday we didn't vlog. She was doing a bunch of errands, which she's doing a bunch again today because I'm not able to do all that stuff. So she's taking it. Um, but anyways, I was walking on it yesterday. It was very different, hard. This I do not like this boot whatsoever. It is hard to walk in. It uh, it kind of like digs into my calf, so I don't like that. But I found it easier if I wear one of my Crocs on the other foot. It kind of lets me level out. So this morning, I gotta make it downstairs. We got orders to fill, so we gotta make it down there. It'll take me a while. So. <laughs> But I get orders filled, and then I'm hoping Sarah's getting some worm castings today, I think, or mulch. One or the other. I don't know. She'll surprise us. But we got to get in that greenhouse, and we got to get stuff going and make up some potting mix because we got to uh, start planting. So it's going to be a busy day. Hobbling, busy day. <laughs> So for those of you wondering, why do we have the plants in the house? This week, well this whole weekend, this week and this whole weekend, it actually was pretty cold. So we didn't want to risk it, so we just figured leave them in here. But now it's looking like starting Sunday, this Sunday, it's supposed to warm up and get in the 50s. The nights are in the 20s, but that's fine. If it's in the 20s in the greenhouse, it still stays above freezing in that one bed. And we can always put the heat cable on and then they can sit on the heat cable too. So I'm not worried about the freezing part um, the rest of the week. And when you look at the month forecast, it's looking like we're in the 40s, 50s, and 60s. So I know that's too far out. And they can't predict day to day, but it still shows that spring's here. So exciting because we have a lot of stuff we have to get planted. And Sarah just reminded me um, today that we needed to get stuff out by this weekend that's on her chart. So. Excited. Let the planting begin. It's weird to walk in here on this loop. Unlevel ground. You're there. I didn't, thought that was above before. It was when I was out here two days ago. That's why. They weren't up when I oh, planted really? them up. Okay. This is all gonna. Did you plant all into this one? No. It's at the end of that stick is how far. Okay, line. good. Because I'm like. This we didn't do dry. nothing in there. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I didn't water it yesterday, but I watered it the day before. Look how dry it is already. It looks pretty moist compared to that. Oh, it does compared to that, but that didn't get watered at all. So Matt has ventured out to the greenhouse. Boot and all. How you well, doing, dear? It's a walking boot. It's for walking. It's for walking. <laughs> oh. I'm doing good, but it's way too cold to get the water going out of the hose. So we only got one more day of coldness. Like I said earlier, this is a day off. We had enough stuff going on, so we're, this is Friday now, but. Yeah, it's Friday. I think it's like three degrees outside, but it is 80 degrees in here. Yeah, feels nice. I'm in shorts. It's a lot easier to wear this boot and shorts. <laughs> Good luck, dear. Now the fun begins <laughs> when she leaves. So I'm literally just mixing this up, being if we were using plastic trays, I would just use a peat moss and um, perlite, but perlite doesn't come for another couple of days, so we gotta 
wait on that. But I wanted to get this all mixed and ready to go. Plus, I wanted to water some of this stuff. So I just wanted to spend some time out here. I'm getting sick of sitting in the house. So I'm gonna get this ready for the perlite. Hey, you get out of there. I don't trust you in there. Charlie. And the method we're gonna be using is uh, Gardner Scott's. One. Two. Three. So Gardner Scott uses three parts peat moss, three parts compost. Well, we don't need any compost. So we went to one of the stores, and they didn't have it down, they wouldn't let her get some, and whatever. So we have, she picked up worm casting, so that'll work. I'm just gonna do that instead. So now all I need is um, perlite to go in here and water. But I don't want to add the water yet until you get the perlite and then I'll add it all at once. Get off of there Charlie, you putts. Are you eating the spinach? You're a goofy cat. Hi everyone, so it's been a day. It's been a week actually. And we are going to be making some pizza. We've got some of the cast iron in here. For the kids, we're going to make them some sourdough pizza. Matt and I are actually having cauliflower crust pizza because for Lent, we're just trying to be more mindful about our sugar intake. And it's been a long time since I made cauliflower pizza crust. Um, so I've already got that going. It's just mozzarella cheese, um, some shredded cauliflower, and some eggs, and then I was working on seasoning it. I added garlic and a little bit of salt just because this cheese isn't very salty. And then I will probably add maybe some basil, something like that. All right, I changed my mind. I'm gonna actually add Italian. So while I got all these cauliflower crusts out, we're not going to eat all that tonight, um, but I had bought two cauliflower and it was just enough for three pizzas. I recalled that one cauliflower was enough for more than one, but not two. I wasn't quite sure how much we were going to eat. Um, and the pans, the pans are heated up, so I'm going to take those out and get the sourdough crust going. I love making sourdough pizza crust like this because it's just super simple 
and it uses up a lot of my um, sourdough starter when I have a lot. I just kind of spread it on the hot pan and it starts cooking right away. I'm trying not to get any oil on this though. Don't want to put that back in my starter. I have to show you how it's just starting to cook and it's awesome because you can still see those bubbles from the starter. You can really tell how it's cooking there. Kind of looks like a pancake. I'm going to season this crust the same. This one's really important that I season it with salt. Uh, because the sourdough itself isn't salty, but when you add salt to it, it brings out the best sourdough flavor. So far we've been loving this Redmond's Real Salt. Some garlic powder. Uh, but I'm going to put this one back in, and then I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing to the next pan. I only have one pizza pan, so I'm just using a cast iron skillet for the other pizza. I still have about half a crock of starter. The stuff adds up so fast. I really overfeed it though so that I always have some on hand. And it's nice that I can just kind of use some up quick like this, make some crackers, just something quick like that. All right, these sourdough crusts are ready. I just left them in here a couple minutes. Didn't time it. I'm not gonna put the toppings on until the cauliflower pizza crust is probably at least cooked because all of these could get kind of soggy if I um, do it too early. So I'll let those sit while the cauliflower pizza across the cooks. I'm gonna cut a couple olives for our pizza topping. This will probably just be for Matt and my pizza because kids don't really care for olives. And I probably don't need that many because I did add that extra salt. So I'm gonna add just a couple of those olives. And I think you guys are watching this on St. Patrick's Day. So happy St. Patrick's Day. In honor of St. Patrick's Day, we're gonna use our favorite topping on pizza, sauerkraut. Anyone else use sauerkraut on their pizza? No, this is not homemade sauerkraut. You have to try it, it's so good. Oh, it's really delicious. And then I just made fajitas the other night and I have some leftover peppers and onions that were cooked. So I'll put a little bit of that on top. And it's Friday, so in our house during Lent, that means no meat. So. So our oven has been giving us some trouble, so this is how Matt decided to fix it. The door likes to prop itself open a little bit. I think that's why my crust wasn't quite done, so he put uh, the cane he's been using over here. That means he has to sit. <laughs> Bummer. Where are my grapes? Where are your grapes? Feed me. <laughs> I wanted to do a video of all the things I feel like I'm doing. Like, oh, running to get wood. Oh, going outside to get the mail. Oh, let's go get the garbage. Matt had me bring salt down to the water softener. Like, just things I don't typically do. And I do a lot around here. You do a lot it. around here. I've never said you didn't, but I felt like, oh, that would make the greatest video. Me doing all these things, and then Matt sitting on the couch, like, waiting with his grapes. Like, come on. <laughs> no, he's doing way more than he should be. You guys all give him a hard time and tell him to rest and take it easy. I'm fine. Woo! That one looks good. Ooh. That one looks good. That looks like a big omelet. Yeah. Mm. Big omelet. But I don't like that. Well, it's not for you. Yes, it is. That one's for mom and dad.